Hello and welcome to the United Stand. How are you all doing? This is our Manchester United transfer special and we've got three cracking names, two of which you may not have heard that much about, to talk about today. So why are we doing a transfer show in the first place, I suppose, is the pertinent question. And it comes down to this. We haven't done one for a while and the guarantee is that Jose Mourinho is going to sign players in January. He's given opportunities to some players, you know, he didn't get rid of them straight away. And I don't think many of those players have stepped up to the plate. And I think like us as fans, he can see there are gaping errors and issues within our squad that need strengthening. And the only way he can do that is to buy players in. And, and he has a right to do that. He's only had one transfer window. He's inherited to the squad which many of us think is full of dead wood so there will be players coming in and uh, the first player I want to talk about is um, probably not most not the most exciting of the three but the Seamus Coleman rumours are welcomed by me 18 months ago I remember when we were doing the transfer shows through the summer me and Kev especially and a lot of you lot were saying Seamus Coleman would be perfect uh, perfect at right back for Manchester United the big thing for me and I go on about it a lot is he's Premier League proven over the last 18 months, he might not have been sensational. He's had a couple of injuries, but he's been a steady right back and he's a very good Premier League right back. And the issue with Manchester United at the moment, whether you like Valencia at right back or not, you can get away with him in the, against the lesser sides, but against the bigger sides, he's not a right back. And positionally, he gets found out. And getting by is not what Manchester United should do. We need a specialist right back and Seamus Coleman would be absolutely perfect. We've not had a decent right back since the days of Gary Neville. And I think going out and spending the 20 to 30 million pounds it would take to get Coleman, who is 27, he'll be 28 in November, going into his prime. I think he's exactly what we need. It would, uh, you know, if there's a world class right back out there, then, you know, I know people mention the lad from PSG and this Fabinho and people like that. Great. You know, if we go and get there, that's fantastic. But do we need to do that? We need a right back who's good going forward, good defensively and Premier League proven. And Seamus Coleman would be perfect for that. His contract's up in 2019, so it's not that far off in the future for us to go and get a deal done. And I think we could get a deal done like that in January. Um, be interesting. I hope there is something in the rumours there. Right, on to more exciting things. Young talents, attacking talents. We've been linked to a couple over the last couple of weeks. Uh, a lot of you might not know much about them. I, granted, didn't know a hell of a lot either. But uh, we'll start off with the, the more obscure one, Leon Bailey, Bailey Jamaican uh, player. He's uh, at Genk in Belgium. We have been linked with him, and I think Man City have as well. 19 years of age. What do we know about him other than he's left-footed? He's done very well in the Belgian league. He was named uh, best young player, I think it was. He was either best young player, yeah, best young, young player in Belgium in Belgium last season. Like I said, 19, but I, I, well, I haven't seen him play loads. He looks really exciting, but I wanted to get some sort of uh, credible um, quote on him. So, he actually had trials at Ajax and refused to go there, but they were really impressed with him. And uh, De Boer, who was the manager at the time, had this to say. He said, he's so, he's got no, that he has no weaknesses. He's so quick, it's not normal. Uh, he's got great te technique and exceptional combination, which I think he's talking about his combination play and, and his ability to use both feet. So, exciting player at Genk, like I said, in Belgium. We have been tentatively linked with him. He's another young player. I, I mean, I wouldn't refuse somebody who sounds like that. That the pace thing interests me, and the fact that he's he's quite a direct and and uh, skillful player. Again, you know, I wouldn't be disappointed if we're going to go and sign him. Um, whether we will or not is uh, is uh, is a matter to be seen, and how much he would cost. I suppose from someone like Genk in Belgium, you might pick him up pick him up for uh, something between ten and twenty million if we did it quick enough. Um, so interesting with that one. It is an exciting one. It's it is very tentative at this stage, but keep your eye, eye on him, Leon Bailey. Jamaican. He's not an international yet either, so he's probably one more for the future, which, as I move on to our last uh, target, which is, um, I've got, I need to read this to get his name right, I, and I probably will get it wrong, uh, Goncalo Guedes, or Guedes, at uh, Benfica, tags the new Ronaldo. Now, I do know more about this lad. He's, um, he's 19, he's going to be 20 in November, he's around six foot tall, he has had uh, international caps for Portugal, I think he's played a couple of times for them. He's doing really well at Benfica, remember Benfica and we nearly got Renato Sanchez. The issue with this lad is, I think he's really good from the bits I've seen of him. I don't buy into this, he's the next Ronaldo thing. From what I've seen, and I, I, I will hold my hands up and say it's like one game and then a few, uh, few clips here and there. He's more like Figo than he is Ronaldo. He's, you know, Ronaldo's bullet, you know, bullet fast, strong, running forward, everything like that. From what I've seen of this Guedes or Guedes or whatever his name is, 
I like the look of him. He's very right-footed. He's very creative. He's got a really good pass, and uh, his assists are fantastic from what I've seen. Um, and I think he will develop and develop and get better and stronger. I mean, like I say, he's 19 going into 20. So I think he's got a great future ahead of him. Um, we are linked to him quite strongly. The Portuguese connection, I think his agent is George Mendes, which helps a hell of a lot because that's Jose's agent. So this is a deal that can be done. And I think it feels far more likely to happen than the Bay, Bay Bailey one, the, the Jamaican Bailey one. Um, however, the, the sort, of, sort of start stumbling block with it is whether he would be good enough for, for Manchester United in the Premier League or whether he's just going to you know, end up being you know, one of those old and the next Ronaldo's and he's not. I don't, I th like I said, I, I like him. I like, he's very right-footed and I think we need a right-sided midfielder so it fits in perfectly for that. Um, the fee is, is the big issue. He's tied down to a contract till 2021. Benfica tend to get good money. They got good money for Sanchez and they're already talking of wanting between 40 and 50 million pounds for him, which is ridiculous for the sort of age he is and the amount of games he's played. However, Arsenal apparently sniffing out around and scouting him as well. Is it a January deal? Probably not. It's probably more for the summer if it's ever going to happen. But actually, out of the three, well, if I if out of the three, I would take Coleman probably first because I think we need a right back. And then I take this Gide second because I think a uh, right-sided midfielder. He's got the right build for the Premier League. He's got the right pace for the Premier League. And most importantly, I, he's got a wand of a right foot. Not in the, not in the sense that Beckham had with the 40-yard passes, but he's, he's, you know, his creativity, his assists, his moving to the ball with the right foot. It's very, very good. So, And like I said, the new Ronaldo thing is a bit unfair. From what I've seen of him, he looks more like Figo, but you, know, you can't argue with that, can you? So there we go. Get commenting below. Transfer show back. Let us know what you're thinking about those three players or any other targets you'd like us to touch on. Um, nice to do a transfer show. And as I said, I think it's really important because we will be signing in January. Um, I disagree. I think we should have got rid of some of the Deadwood in the summer, but fair play to the manager. I think he gave them an opportunity. It was a very short period of time between him taking the job at the start of July and the season starting. And he needed to get players in, more importantly than players out the door. But I think players will be going out the door. I think he's seen the likes of Rojo, etc. and Phil Jones, that they don't offer a future to Manchester United. And I think he's also seen, I need a right back. I might need another centre back and I need a right sided midfielder as well. Hence some of the players we've covered today. Drop us a like, get commenting below and speak to you very soon. It is the United Stand. It is your channel. Get commenting and get involved.